Hello, Mr. Gale here. I'm just going to show you how to find the area of some slightly more complicated shapes. And this one here, we're looking at the area of the shaded bit. Now, one of the things that stands out for me is that this looks like it's a rectangle with a circle cut out of it. And I'm going to use that to help me get the answer because if it's been cut out, that means that that area has been taken away from the area of the whole rectangle. I just want to think a tiny bit about the layout here. I'm going to start with the rectangle first, and I'm going to write that down just so that you know, if somebody's looking at the work, they can see what I did and how, in what order. So the big rectangle. Well, area of a rectangle, that's nice. Uh, it's just the length times the width. And here we've got them nice and easily laid out for us. So 10 centimeters that way, eight centimeters that way. So it's just 10 times eight, which I don't need my calculator for. That one is 80 centimeters squared. Now the circle, is a little bit trickier, but I know that you've been looking at how to do this. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. And in this one, we've got the radius. It's been given to us as two, so radius, remember, distance from the middle to the edge. So the area here is pi, which we're gonna use 3.14. It is more than that, but that's good enough. So it's 3.14 times the radius, and squared means you're doing the radius times the radius, so times the radius again. So 3.14 times 2 times 2, and that I will use to calculate for. So 3.14 times 2 times 2. Again, calculator tries to be helpful with a fraction. I use this one here to change it to decimal 12.56. And then my last step is, well, I want the shaded area. So the shaded bit. Well, it's the rectangle with that circle taken out. So I'm going to go as far as saying it's the rectangle minus the circle. I might just put the word area there, I think. So it's the rectangle minus the circle, while the rectangle was 80 put that under there. Take off the circle, which was 12.56. And it's actually got the answer on there already, the 12.56. So if I do 80, take away, I can use the answer button, or you can just type in 12.56 again if you want to. It will say, press the B button, 67.44. centimeters squared. Oh, I missed that off here, actually. Should have put that in there. That was centimeters squared as well. All right, nice. Uh, here is one more, slightly more difficult one. <sighs> now, one of the things with these is that you've got to try and avoid panicking and go, right, right, what can I do here? So, it's a fairly complicated shape. I don't know what that shape's called, really. I can see there's a circle. And again, it looks like we've got a circle that's been cut out. Uh, what's that? That's a rectangle there. Actually, maybe there's a triangle there that's been cut out. Maybe I'll do that. I'll take that triangle out. Oh, actually, yeah. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna go. If I pop that line across there, I'm actually gonna think of this as just being one big rectangle. We go all the way across to here. So I'm thinking of this as being one big rectangle with that triangle taken out, that triangle taken out, and that circle triangle, uh, that circle taken out as well. So I'm going to call this triangle, um, let's go triangle one, and I'll call this triangle triangle two, and then that's the circle, and then the big thing's a big rectangle. Okay, right, so I've got my plan. So just to do all of those individual bits, move that a bit, it's got more space. So actually this time around, I think I'm just going to just clarify for myself what I'm going to do. So the shaded area is, it's the rectangle, and then I need to take off that triangle, take off that triangle, and take off that circle. And that will give me the area I want. So I'm just going to go through and do each of those bits. Uh, right, so rectangle that should be fairly easy, hopefully. Right, well, rectangle is just 
uh, width times height or height times length, something like that, four times nine. Okay, and I know that one's 36 centimeters squared. So it is easy to get lost in what you're doing, but these little words here, this is for the rectangle. It just makes it so much easier for somebody else to see what you're doing. But also if you get lost and you go, oh, what was that 36? Well, I've written down what it was. Like it doesn't take long to write a word down. Labeling my triangles like this is gonna make it a lot easier as well. So triangle one, well, triangles area is sort of how wide are they, how tall are they, times that together and then half it. So a half of two times two, well, that's gonna come out as just two. Triangle two here, so it's not quite so obvious. How wide is it and how tall is it? Well, it's four tall, that's fine. But I haven't got this length here, but there's enough information. So all the way across is nine. And if that bit's four and that bit's two and that bit's one, well, one and two makes three, and four makes seven. So to make this up to nine, there must be two centimeters left there. So this triangle is two times four or half of two times four, two, four to eight, half of that is four. All right, just down to this circle then. So the circle is pi times the radius squared. Okay, well, pi 3.14. I think I'm gonna have to use a calculator for this in a moment. The radius, now nah, this one's a bit nasty, this one. That's all the way across there. That two is the diameter that's called. It's not the radius. The radius is just from the middle to the edge. So if it's two all the way across, then the radius must be just one. So it's 3.14 times the radius and then times the radius again. Okay, so actually I don't need a calculator. 3.14 times one times one is just 3.14. So look really hard at my layout I've got here. I've planned out what it is I wanna do. And I've really carefully set out each bit. And then my last step is to just actually answer the question then. So the shaded area is, it's the rectangle, which was 36. Take off this triangle over here. Take off this triangle, which I know was four. And then finally take off the circle. Take off that one as well. So I just check I get that right. So 36 minus 2 minus, ooh, what was it? Minus 4 and minus 3.14. 26.86 centimeters squared. All right, I hope that helps with the layout. These are going to be a little bit trickier this time, but hopefully you can lay them out nice and carefully.